Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Uh, today, we've got another really quick, hopefully a really quick video for you guys. Uh, what we're dealing with today is the new Burger Tuning E85 Analyzer Kit. So uh, this is a cool new product that they have. Um, I know that some of my OG subscribers might remember that I actually installed my own E85 Analyzer uh, probably about a year, year and a half ago. But I am in the uh, middle of getting my tuning done by David Shaw. I'm planning on doing the flex fuel tuning with, uh, with David Shaw. So I wanted to make sure that I have an analyzer that is actually inputting this data to the CAN bus system. So uh, as you guys probably know, you can go and pick up an MHD. Uh, that will be installed uh, in, right above your low pressure fuel pump uh, underneath your rear seats. But again, since I've already done an installation of an E85 sensor in my engine bay, um, as well as I have this old analyzer, I didn't want to repeat a lot of that work and spend $500 for nothing. So this cool kit that just came out with Burger Tuning is gonna let me do this on the cheap. Uh, it's, uh, I think it ran me about 150 bucks for this analyzer. So I will put a link down in the description for that. Uh, it's gonna work out great for anybody that already has an E85 uh, sensor installed, uh, one of the Continental sensors installed in their vehicle. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna turn the camera around. We'll take a look at that new sensor and uh, with that new kit and I'll show you what we gotta get done. Okay guys, so this is our package from Burger Tuning. I've already opened this up, but we're gonna go ahead and slide this out. So basically what we have here is uh, this should be, I don't I think that this is like the ECA uh, analyzer module that we need. So as you'll see that it actually has um, a pin connector that will connect to one end of this connect, uh, to this, this module. And then this connection here, uh, this one here actually goes to the Continental sensor. So that is already available for me. And then this would be if I was going to run a, an additional uh, pressure sensor. Um, and one thing that I've done on my vehicle, or I've, I've noticed, when I did this old install for my E85 sensor, which uh, I'm not sure if you guys can will remember, but my E85 sensor is right here. Uh, on the, a little bit further down, I had installed a pressure sensor so that I would actually have that low pressure um, fuel line sensor right before uh, the high pressure sensor so I could actually tell what that, that uh, the low pressure was putting out, uh, the low pressure pump was putting out, but because I have an early model N55, I actually still had a low pressure sensor um, right before the high pressure fuel pump underneath this intake manifold. So I have not been using that sensor that I installed. So if anybody's going to do this, uh, this, this kit, and let's say you want to take an E85 sensor, um, you can actually go back and I'll put a link to the, in this, to, in this video to the description of my previous video where I showed you how to uh, connect or how to build your own setup with the E85 sensor and the pressure sensor. But what you would want to do is just, of course, leave out the pressure sensor or if you want to add it, you can. So uh, to get this connected, you see where we're going to plug in our connector right there. So this end here of that connector is going to plug right in there to that continental sensor. I will end up running uh, the other unit over here to this, um, this, I don't know what you want to call that, but it's a, just kind of a little uh, cubby hole that's above the AC blower motor. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to tap in to the lines right here for the CAN bus system, as well as uh, our power, and then we'll run to a ground. So this should not take long. I'm going to go ahead and get that cover off real quick, and I'll show you guys where we're going to tap in on those wires. Okay, so we've got our cover off here. And as you can see, what we're going to do is we're gonna actually tap into this connector here. Uh, they can be in different locations and, and I'm not sure 100% that which one was supposed to be where, but uh, this is the connector that I'm using here. As you can see, the wires that are going into it. Uh, basically what we're looking at here are the wires here on the end. Um, I am actually going to tap into these red, this red and red and blue wire here. Um, as well as there's another one here that's actually blue and red, I think there. So um, I, what I'll show you here is I have a quick pin out. Okay, I see. And this is just uh, from BMW. Uh, what I need here is uh, we're looking for the can connection. So I have a can high as well as a can low. Um, I'm actually gonna tap into those two wires there. And then this green, it was, I'm sorry, it was green in, a, in red that what looks like to be a 15 volt wake up. Um, I'm going to tap into those three wires. So back basically here on my connector, um, this end, we've got connections here for, I believe, well, of course, one of these is ground, which is of course the black one that's already there. I'm gonna have to identify real quick which wires 
uh, need to be uh, the high, the can high and the can low, as well as the 15 volt wake up. But when I do, we're just going to use the um, included wire taps here to just tap into those lines so that we actually get uh, the connections that we need to to the can system and and to our wake up so um, i will show you guys that here in just a minute um, i'm just going to have to do a little bit more research and here we go so i went to the burger motor tuning um, website and this is the can bus system we just we, we're, been, we're actually installing as you can see right now it's on sale for 149 which i believe is a great deal and then as we go down here on the readout, you can see the, uh, the connections that we need. So our uh, red and green wire is our 12 volt switch power. Uh, black is ground, orange is can positive, and red blue is can negative. Oh, I'm sorry, I said that wrong. Uh, red blue is can positive, and the orange is can negative. So we are going to tap into those. Uh, this is here for this connector, and that will give us uh, what we need here uh, to, um, to wire into our system. So I'm gonna do that real quick, and then I'll be back with you guys because we will have to make a change on MHD as well too. Now, as you guys can see, I've got my posi taps here. This one here is my red and green. I have it going to the 15 volt uh, wake up that we discussed there. Uh, and then on this side, I went ahead and just tapped into this yellow and then a blue black, which should be uh, the yellow is the can low, the uh, blue black is the can high. And so that is the connections that I need. I went ahead and ran my modules just tucked right over here in the corner. And then as you can see right here, my ground is actually coming right here uh, to this little post um, for my hood strut. I uh, just wanted to just find a quick ground. I'm actually using that exact same ground here for the fogger power line uh, over there. So that should be sufficient. Um, what I'm going to do now is, uh, you see, I've, I've got my, my cable here, ran, ran it just underneath this bar, probably try to slide it here through this connection because this, this is already kind of trash to begin with. And then we'll get it connected and then we'll see what we need to do on MHD real quick. I will show you guys that as well. Okay guys, and I went in and popped the cover off just to show you guys that there is a little LED bulb, or LED light on here that will show you that you're getting power and ground. Uh, so this actually is connected properly. Uh, one thing I also did, um, because I was actually trying to figure out the connection, I actually swipped my, uh, switched my connection or my power here to uh, the power that was ran from my original uh, ethanol sensor, which is actually connected to the fuse box on one of the timed fuses. So um, I'm not 100% if this, um, not 100% sure if that, that other uh, connection works for, uh, for powering up. But I just realized, I was like, wait a minute, I already have this connection, why don't I use that? So that's why I'm using, uh, this right here is telling me that I am getting power, so now we're gonna check that connection with the uh, MHD when we actually get this um, switched over, this, this coded to, uh, with our current revision, we'll get this coded and we'll see if we actually get that ethanol content now. Now, we have transitioned inside. Um, I have my MHD set up on my Android unit. That way I'll be able to uh, look at gauges and whatnot and show that to you guys a little easier. But I typically do all my flashing off of my phone. Um, and what we're going to do now is uh, this is actually going to be flash custom tune. So uh, as you guys already know, I'm already running a custom tune um, on, from David Shop. Uh, and there it is right there. There's my uh, revision 1.5 that I'm currently on. And so it's going to connect. Uh, what we're going to do now is go into our options and we are looking for, oh, there it is, CAN bus ECA uh, preset. So I'm going to click on that. Okay, so as you guys can see, it's popped up down here at the bottom. Uh, it's asking for which, which unit we're actually running. So what I'm going to try, I know the uh, Zetronics ECA is going to be similar to this MHD. So I'm going to select that. Oops. And we're going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and reflash my map and then we will see if that picks up what we needed. So I will be back with you guys here shortly. Well, is we have to actually go into our parameters and make sure that we're we're now monitoring our um, the correct uh, I guess parameter in other words. So let's see if we can uh, we can get there. I think this is the option. Yeah. So we're going to go in and we're, we're looking for ethanol content, I believe is what it's going to show up under. So let's see here. Ah, ethanol content can, if you guys can see that. Uh, there's a can and an active. I'm not sure which one it is. I'm going to select the can for right now. Uh, we're going to back out now. 
and we're gonna go back to our display. Okay guys, and we're giving this another shot. So um, before, as you guys could, I'm not sure, I've probably spliced in a video here, but before I was actually not getting power um, to the ethanol sensor uh, analyzer. So I went ahead and, and uh, double checked my connections. I verified, you took the top off, verified that I am getting power now. Uh, so I went back in, um, rewrote this map, uh, and I actually uh, selected, I think it's like Zentronics, uh, as far as the ECA, I think that's the, uh, the choice or the, the selection that, uh, that this burger tuning uh, unit uses. So now when I go in and we're actually going to look for the ethanol can because we're actually looking for it on the can system. There we go. As you guys can see, I am now showing my ethanol content is now being read properly into the CAN bus system. I am currently, uh, as of my last fill, uh, fill up, I guess I'm sitting at about 50%, 56% on ethanol. Uh, but I, this will be great for the flex fuel uh, setup, the flex fuel tune that'll be coming from David Shop uh, here pretty soon. So I'm really excited about this. As you guys can see, that is actually a really simple, quick installation. Uh, I'm really excited about now having my ethanol content gone, uh, going into MHD so that I can do my flex fuel uh, setup. So uh, if this is your first time to the channel, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Uh, of course, I've got more updates and more content coming for you guys. Everyone be safe and we'll catch you guys in the next video.